Hey everybody, it's TapTap, and there was an update released for Abyssrium that appears to at least partially fix some of the dumb crap in the uh, Halloween update. It's doing a slow rollout, as all of the updates do, so I don't actually have it right now. But you can see the, um, if I have the right image here, no I don't. Which one was it? There we go. Um, somebody on the subreddit found um, the update and they got... There's a new in-app purchase pack, which, bleh, ugly octopus trio. Um, they made a thing where you can put the event fish from the uh, the Halloween thing into the saltwater tank. So the saltwater tank is back to being kind of the main tank. And interestingly, you can have fish if you have, say you have two Halloween whales in the, uh, you know, in the event tank. What you could do... You can have the two event. You can have them in this event tank, and also have them out in the saltwater tank as well. Because I mean, they don't affect it other than just like you know being there. Um, so that's pretty cool. So it also seems like this tank will stay after the event, which I figured was like the obvious thing. Like I can't imagine they would go through all this effort and just you know erase it from existence days after the event is over. <laughs> There's also a new task, which is really hard, a new set of quests to unlock a new snowy owl thing that looks straight out of, like, Harry Potter or something. Um, and there's also, this is something they added in an earlier update, but um, there's a restore purchases button in the gear menu. I don't understand games that don't have that button already, like, Survive Mola Mola doesn't have that button, and I doesn't have cloud saves either, so I lost, you know, my ad-free privileges and know, lost my save, so it kind of sucks, but, yeah, there's a new quest once you complete Wish's Castle, um, let me find that quest here, it shows up in-game, it's not, like, hidden or anything, but it just unlocks after you've done the Wish's Castle, you need to own 15 sharks, 500 AN vitality, which you probably will have at this point already, own one star whale, again, already done, probably, you need to reach a total of 52,000 levels across all Witch's Den items, which, not easy, as you can see, I'm only at 38,000, um, but what they did as well in the update, which was not mentioned in that thing, uh, there's some updates that didn't actually mention in the, the completed list, but it also reduced the earning time for the, for the, the quote-unquote coral, like the, the Witch's Tree, um, has been changed to 5 seconds, Hungry Coffin has been changed to 30 seconds, Riddle Jack-O-Lantern, one minute, three minutes, five minutes. So they have sane production times instead of two hours for, you know, garbage poop vitality out of this witch's den. So they're basically actually functional now. So the vitality limit, um, they're still capped at 9,000, but because they actually earn vitality at a reasonable rate now, they should, um, the vitality cap should be a lot less drastic. It, um, there probably still is a hard cap, or, well, a soft cap. Whoa! You're standing on a table ten times your size. How did you almost fall off? <laughs> um, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> sorry, my cat's distracting me. Um, it should be a lot more reasonable now to, uh, to progress. And by the way, uh, there's, I think they added a tutorial as well. It says they added a tutorial, it doesn't specify whether it's for the Halloween tank or not, I assume it is. Um, but something a lot of people get wrong is they don't buy fish. If you buy fish, it increases the amount of candy you make, which increases the amount of fish you can make, so... You know, just do what you do in the normal tank, but always buy a fish if you can. Always upgrade, you know, the coral if you can. Alright, well, in the regular tank, only the coralite matters, not the coral, but in this game, there's no... In this version, there's no coralite, so, yeah. Um... Oh yeah, they also changed the magic skills. So the magic skills, don't cast those. If you if you haven't got the update yet, don't cast these yet. Um, they reduced the cost to 100 pearls, and they increased the time to 12 hours, which is much, much more reasonable. I don't know how they thought the original prices were okay, but it's cool that they did eventually fix it. It is pretty uncool that it took over two weeks for this to come out. And um, even when it came out, they're still doing a slow rollout for God knows why. Um, so they're seriously the only game I've ever had do this, where they do the slow rollout, and what that basically means is that random people get it, literally random, totally random, can't do anything about it. Um, and after about a week, everyone has it, and it's just, in theory, apps like Twitter do it, 
to, you know, make sure there's not any bugs, and they, like, watch elevated bug reports from, like, people in the, you know, opting, well, you know, randomly getting the update. Uh, but Abyssrium, they don't fix the bugs, so there's no reason to do it. It just ticks everyone off for absolutely no benefit. It's completely ridiculous, and they've done it for over two years, so... <laughs> Old dogs do not apparently learn new tricks, which is a shame. But yeah, let me show you that owl again. So this is the owl you get. He's, you know, gonna tell you that you're a wizard. And, uh, that's about it. They, they seem to like adding non-fish animals lately. Um, I think that there's also some edits in the uh, the freshwater tank. Let me, let me double check that out. Again, I'm sorry I can't show you this stuff, but again, slow rollout. I genuinely, I don't have the update, so I can't show them directly. Um, but apparently the fish patterns were changed and some of the fish were made smaller. Um, I think it might be intended to reduce the lag in freshwater. I don't have it yet, so I can't really tell. But yeah, if you rage quit on this event, which completely reasonable reaction, this is really rough for new players and still a lot for old players too. Um, might want to check it out. I can't tell exactly how much better it is because I don't have it, obviously, and I already completed it anyway. But uh, it sounds like it should be a lot more reasonable than previously, so... Yeah, um, again, it might take up to a week. Just leave auto-updates on for Abyssrium, and don't worry, don't check the App Store, it really won't get you any faster. At the absolute fastest, that might get you a day faster. Um, if your auto-updates, you know, only checks every day. I don't know exactly how often it checks, but that would be my estimate. So yeah, re really don't worry about it, but when it comes out, this should be way more manageable. So yeah, that's that's the update, so I couldn't show it to you, but yeah. Um, hopefully everyone that like, the for, for especially the, the fall fish, which are still insane. I don't know why they didn't just adjust some of the fall fish requirements. Um, but the fall fish should be much more possible now with the uh, the reduced times on these. I don't know why they thought this was okay. Like, if it's gonna take two hours to generate, it should generate like, you know, a buttillion of, uh, of uh, vitality. But yeah. <laughs> Instead it's generating, it's still, it's generating, you know, only 20 times what I have currently. Oh wait, no, that's the price. Wait, what is it generating? Oh, it's generating still less than one tap, which is amazing. Truly, truly amazing. <laughs> anyway, hopefully you get the update soon, and hopefully it fixes any issues you may have with the uh, with the Halloween event. I I'm not super looking forward to getting you know another what twenty thousand levels, fifteen thousand levels of things, but it seems like that should be a lot easier to get. And it seems like we get to keep the tank again. I think that's important. I'm assuming that we're just going to get another tank, like the next event is almost certainly Christmas, if you just look at the history of things. I just assume we get kind of like a carousel here, of like Halloween, Christmas, blah blah blah, and like once the event rolls around again, they just add more fish into the tank. I think that's a reasonable way to do it. Again, I think the separate tank makes sense, I just think they really kind of screwed the pooch in various ways, and uh, seem to be in the process of unscrewing the pooch at this point. So that's nice. Anyway, I hate to say it, but you're supposed to say it. Ugh. And I don't know why it works, but it apparently does. If you tell people to please like and comment and subscribe and stuff, they do it because, you know, people forget. So just remember to do that. I'm not going to call it out at the end of the, every video, but I just thought I would here. And for Pete's sake, don't just say first comment. I bet by this time somebody's already typed first comment. Because I did it at the end of the video, but if you do that, you get banned on this channel. Post a real comment. If you're just gonna spam, you're gonna get banned. But if you're gonna post a real comment, I read every single comment, and that's why I'm so hard on first comments. Cause like I gotta read this, other people gotta read this. You're just gonna waste everyone's time. That's not cool. I want my comments to be, you know, real people having real conversations. And if you're going to try to crap it up when everyone's trying to, you know, post real things, uh, you're going to get kicked out. 